Howdy! The Glove Palm Ladies, Kathy and Ellie, have returned. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to use PicoMap, a concept mapping program for Palm OS computers. Just as in the past, how you learn using this tutorial is up to you. Follow along using your palm as we go, or listen to the tutorial completely first, or however else, feel free to learn as best you can. The Gloved Palm Ladies are here to help you become ever so comfortable using handheld computers with your students. Are you ready? Here we go. Concept mapping is a popular technique taught in school today. A concept map consists of labeled nodes connected by labeled arcs. For example, you're seeing a family tree depicted as a concept map with the nodes representing your relatives and the arcs representing the relationship amongst the relatives. This particular family tree is for Donald Duck. Notice all the relationships. Uncle Scrooge is at the top. He is the uncle of Donald. Notice that the arrows indicate the relationships. For example, Huey is the nephew of Donald. Since the arrow goes from Donald to Huey, we also see that Huey is the brother of Dewey. And you see the arrow right there that Ellie is pointing to, showing us that the relationship goes from Huey to Dewey. Concept mapping has many uses in the K-12 classroom. For example, concept mapping is a wonderful brainstorming tool. At the start of a unit, you can have the children identify the pieces of information they already know and how they're related. Then, as the unit progresses, you can revisit this concept map and adjust the concepts and the relationships. Students can also use concept mapping to organize their thoughts as they prepare to write a research report. Students use nodes and arcs to represent the key ideas and the relationships that go into their report. And students can use concept mapping to help them structure a process. For example, students can use the nodes and arcs to represent the steps in a scientific experiment they're about to conduct. Or a teacher can give the students a concept map that specifies the components that are needed in a report. Yes, indeed. Concept mapping is a powerful learning tool. Because concept mapping is educationally so important, we've created a concept mapping tool for Palm OS computers called PicoMap. Its name says it all, PicoMap, a little concept mapping. While there is a manual that accompanies PicoMap, in this short tutorial, we'll show you 90% of the features in PicoMap. Basically, what you see is what you get. So while PicoMap is Inspiration's little brother, PicoMap has most of what you need from a concept mapping program in an easy to learn, easy to use package. You've already seen a family tree represented in PicoMap. Let's do a science oriented concept map. In particular, let's describe the various NASA missions to Mars. Ellie has found a great set of NASA web pages that describe those missions. Let's use a concept map to lay out some key issues in those missions. Okay, Ellie, start your Pico map and create a node for Mars. You created a node by drawing a circle, and now you're entering the word Mars. Very good. Now, create a second node and label it flybys. Good, we've got two nodes. Now we're ready to connect the nodes with an arc. Draw an arc from flybys to Mars and label it first stage. You notice that when you draw the arc, that rectangle comes up and Ellie is typing first stage into it using graffiti. Now, draw another node, label it orbiters.
You can move those arcs around any way you want. Now draw an arc from orbiters to Mars labeled second stage. Now you've got the first arcs of the Pico map. Ellie, I want you to turn your palm off right now. Now, the question is, is Ellie going to lose all of her work because she's turned it off? Ellie, turn it back on. And there it is, all your work. You didn't lose anything. The palm operating system saves your work as you go, unlike a desktop computer. The palm computer works like a piece of paper. What you write is there, immediately and always, or until you erase it. We can learn one more lesson from this episode. With a desktop computer, you need to tell your students 10 to 15 minutes before the end of the period to save their work. That's 10 to 15 minutes of lost curricular time. And as teachers will tell you, 10 to 15 minutes is an optimistic figure. PicoMap is a super tool to foster collaboration amongst the students, and students love to beam. Have your students do the peer editing on each other's concept maps. We found that works great in classrooms. Ellie, will you show us your finished map? We see Mars at the top, and over on the right there are flybys. You can use the scroll tool to move over to the right. We see that Mariner 3 was a failed attempt. And Mariner 4 happened on July 14, 1965. Mariner 6 followed in July of 69. And Mariner 7 was in 1969 also. If you'll scroll back to the left, at the very bottom you see the third stage that Ellie hasn't completed yet. That's landers and rovers. As he continues to move to the left, we see the second stage, the orbiters. We see Mariner 5 and Mariner 9. Thanks, Ellie. And since the concept maps remain on the students' handhelds, the students can revisit their concept maps over the course of a unit or even a semester and revise the concept maps to reflect their evolving understanding. It's no big deal to bring up an old concept map. Just a couple of taps and there it is. No more fumbling in a binder for a folded, torn, or missing piece of paper. Well, that's it. That's PicoMap. We hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial and found it useful. In our next tutorials, we'll describe how to use our other core Palm OS productivity tools, Sketchy, a drawing and animation tool, and FreeWrite, a basic word processor. Say goodbye, Ellie. This is the Glove Palm Ladies, Kathy and Ellie, signing off for now and wishing you a great day.